guys hi I'm back again um, this is a video about how to solve the no video input on your screen or it says no monitor input which it just gives you a black screen and you cannot do anything um, there's actually a few different ways that you can solve this I actually have a previous video before but there then at the time I could not figure it out which now I've actually done a lot of research on it and um, figured out a bunch of different ways that you can solve it. Um, one of the ways that you can solve it very easily is by um, actually clearing the CMOS to your computer. That's not to be confused with the BIOS because BIOS is uh, something different which is what your computer boots up to at first. Um, but anyways, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I wanted to do a video on this older PC. Obviously, it's not mine. Um, it's actually a working PC, but uh, it's very uh, nasty and old. Um, because in a lot of times in these older PCs, the uh, CMOS battery is harder to find. So what I want to do is show you where that is now. And in a lot of these older ones... Um, they're actually right here. They hide behind these wires like this. And it's very hard to see. For a lot of you tech guys, you would already be looking for it as soon as I said something about it, but you would not find it. Okay, but it's actually right here. Um, you just pull this clip up, pull your CMOS battery out. Um, you do that and leave it out for about 15 minutes. Do not power on your PC and take out the power cord in the back. Make sure there is no power going to it. Press the power, power, the front power switch once or twice to drain some power out. Um, then again, you take that out for 15 minutes, leave it out. Do not turn your PC on. Um, you plug it back in after you get done, leaving it out for 15 minutes, and then it'll start. It'll reboot. You'll reboot your computer and. You'll have your CMOS cleared, and it'll give you a setup that you just go ahead and follow along. It's not hard at all. Um, you really don't need to know much about PCs. To, it's pretty easy. Um, another way that you can clear your CMOS without taking the battery out, some, sometimes there's a lot of stuff in the way, and maybe you not may not want to risk taking it out. Maybe it's loose. Um, there's actually a jumper. It's called a CMOS jumper. Um, I know you can't really see it on this phone because it's just an older phone that I have lying around. But there's actually a three-pronged pin here. I know you can't see it very good. And it says right underneath of it, it says clear CMOS. It says C-L-R-C-M-O-S. And that means clear CMOS. Okay, and there's a blue pin connector right above where it says clear CMOS right here. Okay. See this blue pin, you can take it out and you put it on the one right here and the one in the middle, the one that was not uh, covered up in the first place and you leave it on there for about 15 minutes. Again, do not power on your PC because you will screw up your motherboard and you will fry your computer. Um, you leave it on there for 15 minutes and you take it off and you stick it exactly where you got it from. You don't have to push it down extra tight or nothing, just make sure it's on there a little snug. And uh, again, boot your PC up. It'll uh, go through the setup, which is real easy. Um, that's one way to solve it. Another way that actually solved my issue, because I'd tried that on a newer Dell that I have, and it did not work. Okay, and it freaked me out because I just spent a lot of money on this PC. It just bought a new GPU for it and everything and put it all together and all of a sudden it gave me that okay um, which that can be caused by leaving your computer not plugged into a power supply for very long about a day or two and your computer will uh, the CMOS settings it'll forget in the battery okay and you can also go pick up another one of these they're just three volt uh, watch batteries. <clears throat> it's the same exact thing and it'll set itself up as soon as you put it in there and re remake it into the CMOS battery. But anyway, 
Uh, the way that I actually solved mine is when I'd taken out my old graphics card and cleaned off all the golden connectors on the bottom. Cleaned it off real nice and neat. Okay, I did that. And I cleaned off all of my RAM. Obviously, none of this is clean. It's uh, super dirty. Um, it's amazing. It even works. But clean off all your RAM. Give your computer a whole cleaning everywhere because it's not going to do anything but improve your performance and your cooling. So do that. <clears throat> Plug in everything nice and snug. Don't forget to put, you know, bolt it in and everything, your GPU, because, you know, you don't want it jumbling around or anything or being loose while you're playing. Um, do that. Um, your issue should be solved. That's exactly what solved mine. Um, there was not a power supply issue, which a lot of times people try to tell you, oh, well, that's a power supply issue. Da -da 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 -da. It's not a power supply issue at all. Okay. It um, can actually be very easily solved. And after that, if none of that works, um, you can, uh, I don't know if you guys know any experience in soldering or not, which, you know, if you don't have a brand new PC, don't even go this far into doing it you can take it into your local pc shop and have them redo the diodes which are these right here the little batteries that stick out some of them are bent you know the ones that are bent and expanded on the top are supposed to be flat not bubbled the ones if there's one really expanded or you can see it leaking or something go ahead and have the pc guy replace that because all it's going to do is improve the lifetime of your computer and also the component that it's hooked to but another way that you can also solve a lot of stupid problems, um, you can put a new brand new Windows into your hard drive. And if you can't get this to work at all by clearing the CMOS and clearing off everything, you can always pull out your hard drive, take it to your friend's house, hook it to another PC, and download Windows from there. And that will solve your issue because a lot of times it's a mix-up between the drivers and the BIOS and everything. And... The chipset drivers and everything it can all be a mess if you uh you know keep going with new systems and not deleting your previous drivers that you had before which now new ones delete them anyway so if you guys got any comments tips or maybe the way that you guys had this problem and solved it yourself um, go ahead and leave it for other people all it's going to do is help people out um, that's what my channel is for. I'm going to start making more tech videos, so please subscribe. Um, help my channel out a little bit. Thanks. Bye-bye.